occurring when magma erupts through openings in the Earth's crust and flows onto its surface as lava. The heat of a volcanic eruption, the sound emitted, and gases produced can cause widespread destruction and global consequences. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 15 biggest mega eruptions in history. Number 15. Mount Unzen while it may have happened about 230 years ago, to this day, the eruption of Mount Unzen that occurred on May 21st of 1792 has been the deadliest in Japanese history. Although it is unclear whether it was the eruption itself or the earthquake that collapsed the dome of the volcano, what is known is that the event generated a massive landslide that buried the city of Shimabara and later flowed into the ocean. This then triggered a tsunami that caused a massive 57-meter high wave to devastate the region's coast, killing about 15,000 people while damaging agriculture for years. And while it's true that a lot of time has passed since then, this event has had an impact on the collective conscience of those living in the area, as to this day there is extreme public anxiety around seismic and volcanic events. Number 14. The Changbaishan Volcano while China is a country that's not especially well known for its volcanic activity, it has one volcano on the border with North Korea that may just be the exception. Known as the Changbaishan Volcano, it's a 2,700-meter tall behemoth that's considered to be the highest mountain in North Korea and Northeast China. But beyond its physical attributes, it stands apart due to the massive eruption it had in the year 946 AD. Spewing volcanic material as far away as northern Japan, it created an ash cloud that was absolutely massive. And the explosions themselves were so violent that they created a large caldera that's nearly four and a half kilometers wide and one kilometer deep at the top of the mountain. This caldera has now filled with water and has become the so-called Sky Lake. And today it's a popular tourist site for visitors from around the globe, if they can get in. Number 13. Nevado del Ruiz When it comes to the Western Hemisphere, few 20th century volcanoes had quite as much physical or political impact as Nevado del Ruiz. You see, when it erupted on November 13th of 1985, ice and snow at the summit of the volcano rapidly began to melt. This created a series of mud flows that swept down the volcano's flanks, with much of the impact hitting the town of Armero. The results were absolutely destructive, as about 24,000 people, or 70% of the town's population, lost their lives. Faced with all of this suffering, many people began to turn their anger towards the Colombian government, as they had done very little to prepare for the volcanic eruption, despite the fact that scientists had given them early warnings. This led to widespread protests, lots of Western media attention, and most importantly of all, the formation of the International Volcano Disaster Assistance Program, or VDAP, which to this day tracks and monitors the world's 1,500 potentially active volcanoes. Number 12. Mount Pinatubo when it comes to 20th century eruptions, the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption in the Philippines was unfortunately one of the worst on record. Located on the Philippine island of Luzon, the eruption occurred on June 15th of 1991 after months of small tremors and quakes. When it blew, the volcano ejected more than 5 cubic kilometers of material, forming an ash cloud that rose 35 kilometers into the air. At low altitudes, this ash was blown in all directions by the intense cyclonic winds of a coincidentally occurring typhoon, causing a blanket of volcanic ash and pumice to blanket the countryside. If that wasn't bad enough, the eruption caused a huge avalanche of searing hot gas and pumice to roar down the flanks of the mountain, filling once deep valleys with fresh volcanic deposits while killing about 850 people and leaving a further 200,000 people homeless. When you further consider that this volcanic event caused a modern equivalent of more than $1.4 billion in economic damage, it's not hard to see why Mount Pinatubo was absolutely destructive. Number 11. Huayna Putina Peru is known for having its exceptionally high Andes Mountains, although it turns out that some of these slopes are a little spicier than most. That's because the Andes Mountain Range is also home to Huayna Patina which is a volcano that stands apart for producing the largest South American eruption in recorded history. Erupting on February 19th of the year 1600, it buried the surrounding area in two meters of volcanic rock over a period of between 12 to 19 hours and took the lives of between 1,000 and 1,500 people in the region. 
beyond its immediate area, the volcano also managed to have an impact on global temperatures, as it emitted enough ash to cause a volcanic winter, causing temperatures to plummet in the northern hemisphere. The temperatures were so frigid that the next year they caused a famine in Russia, nearly destroyed a wine harvest in France, and prematurely froze over Lake Suwa in Japan, with tree rings attesting that 1601 was the coldest year in the past 600 years. As a result, it's clear that Huaynaputina's impact was truly global. Number 10. Santa Maria the Santa Maria volcano in Guatemala is surrounded by lush, dense forest. Yet while it may look idyllic, on October 25th of 1902, an eruption made the area look like a living hell. You see, for a period of between 500 years and several thousand years before the blast, Santa Maria had remained dormant. But when the volcano erupted, it created a cloud of pumice that fell over an area of about 273,000 square kilometers and created a crater that was about one kilometer long and about 300 meters deep. While this was already bad enough, the lack of careful monitoring of the volcano meant that the local people had little forewarning, leading to at least 5,000 deaths. To top this off, the central government decided to focus more on the Fiestas Miravalias, which was its largest propaganda festival than the rescue and aid efforts, and the result was that those in the area were essentially left to repair everything themselves, with almost zero external aid or support, making the eruption of this volcano an absolute disaster for the local people in more ways than one. Number 9. The Minoan Eruption while the eruption of Mount Vesuvius may be the most famous ancient eruption, the Minoan eruption of about 1600 BC was a close second. If you've ever traveled to the tourist-inundated island of Santorini, then chances are you've seen the Santorini volcano. Located just off the coast of the main island, it's a pleasant addition to the island's trademark blue and white buildings. However, those living in the area a few thousand years ago probably didn't agree. That's because on the day of this eruption, it ejected approximately 100 cubic kilometers of material, coating the island in a 60-meter high layer thick of white tephra and generating 35 to 150-meter high tsunami waves that went on to devastate the coastline of northern Crete. By many accounts, it was the third or fourth largest volcano eruption in human history, and as a result, some believe that a volcanic winter caused by the blocking of the sun by the eruption may have occurred as far away as China. However, today the Santorini volcano is active but far calmer, and now the volcano is a popular spot thanks to its hot springs. Number 8. The Novarupta Eruption Generally speaking, Alaska is known for its cold weather, interesting animals, and top-rate cruises, but it turns out that it's also home to a massive volcano. Known as Nova Rupta, it sits about 470 kilometers southwest of the city of Anchorage. Although unlike most of the volcanoes on this list, Nova Rupta is only about 110 years old. This is because it was only created when, on June 6th of 1912, a massive eruption rocked the area about 10 kilometers from the peak of Mount Katmai volcano, resulting in not only a large quantity of magma being ejected, but in the complete collapse of Mount Katmai and the creation of a 2-kilometer wide funnel-shaped vent within a 4-kilometer wide and 600-meter deep caldera. Now, the incredible thing about this eruption is that despite all the physical damage, nobody was killed, with many crediting the local Alaskan natives with helping those in nearby settlements learn how to survive the oncoming ash and how to deal with it afterwards. As such, while Nova Rupta was cataclysmic to its local geography, it had relatively little effect on the lives of the nearby humans. Number 7. Mount Vesuvius all right, when it comes to the ancient world, one of the most significant volcanic events that we have records of is the Mount Vesuvius eruption in 79 AD, occurring during the height of the Roman Empire in an area of southern Italy close to modern-day Naples. The volcanic eruption occurred over a two-day period, launching forth a deadly cloud of superheated tephra and gases to a height of 33 kilometers while ejecting molten rock, pulverized pumice, and hot ash at a rate of 1.5 million tons per second. For reference, this means that the blast had about 100,000 times the thermal energy of the atomic bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the end result was not only a series of lava flows that destroyed many nearby towns, but the famous burying of the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in ash. This ash managed to not only kill about 80% of the area's 20,000 inhabitants, but more curiously, was able to completely preserve the towns in their original state. 
And while excavations would not happen until 1592 for Pompeii and 1709 for Herculaneum, today much but not all of both sites have been uncovered. So if you happen to be a Roman history buff, then an in-person trip to Mount Vesuvius is an absolute must. Number 6. Mount Tambora At least on paper, the Mount Tambora eruption in Indonesia stands apart for being the most destructive blast in recorded human history. Happening on April 10th of 1815, it's the only eruption to ever reach a rating of 7 out of 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index in the modern age, and it's not hard to see why. After all, it managed to pour out 178 times more lava per second than Niagara Falls pours out water, with this claiming the lives of about 100,000 people in the immediate area. On a macro scale, Mount Tambora managed to emit about 150 cubic kilometers of ash, pumice, rock, and sulfur into the atmosphere, and this mixed with atmospheric gases to prevent sunlight from reaching Earth. The effects were so bad that the Earth's temperature may have fallen by as much as 3 degrees Celsius, and as a result, from about 1815 until 1819, temperatures continued to remain unusually low. This manifested itself most horribly in 1816, which widely became known as the year without summer due to the fact that snowfall continued well into the summer months. As a result of these cold temperatures, crops failed across the globe, and this is believed to have indirectly led to the death of about 90,000 people. Number 5. Krakatoa When it comes to eruptions, few have had a global impact quite as profound as Krakatoa. Occurring on August 27th of 1883, after a few days of activity, the eruption of the Krakatoa volcano in Indonesia released a force equivalent to 200 megatons of TNT. For reference, that's nearly 200 times the strength of a Hiroshima nuclear bomb. Completely decimating the island the volcano was on, all of this force managed to create a shockwave that circled around the Earth seven times. And in the process, it created a 300 decibel sound wave that was one of the loudest sounds ever produced. For context, 300 decibels is so loud that it meant that the blast ruptured the eardrums of sailors located 64 kilometers away and could be heard up to 5,000 kilometers away. On a more local level, the blast created a tsunami with 37-meter-tall waves, leading to the destruction of at least 165 coastal villages and the deaths of over 36,000 people. However, perhaps the worst effect was that the explosion created a 45-cubic-kilometer cloud of debris that blocked out much of the Earth's sunlight, causing global temperatures to fall by as much as 1.2 degrees Celsius over the next five years. This led to the complete failure of harvests worldwide and widespread famine, and so when the deaths this caused are taken into account, the Krakatoa eruption easily becomes one of the deadliest natural disasters in human history. Number 4. The Yellowstone Supervolcano Thankfully, the Yellowstone Supervolcano is a volcanic caldera that stays relatively quiet. However, when it does have an eruption, the results are absolutely terrifying. You see, on average, the volcano erupts every 750,000 years or so, with the last eruptions having happened 2.1 million, 1.4 million, and 664,000 years ago. While no one was around to witness them, what we do know is that they dwarfed anything seen in recorded human history, as the ejections of between 280 cubic kilometers and 2,400 cubic kilometers of magma is massive compared to the 5 square kilometers of magma that erupted from Mount Pinatubo, which was another heavy hitter to make it onto this list. In fact, this type of eruption was so crazy that if it were to erupt like it did 600,000 years ago, scientists estimate that it would spout enough ash into the atmosphere to bury Texas five times over. And it goes without saying that the Yellowstone volcano's past eruptions led to mass extinctions and large temperature changes around the world. Now, given how scary a prospect this is, many people have wondered whether or not the Yellowstone supervolcano is due for another eruption. After all, the first two that occurred between 2.1 and 1.4 million years ago were just 700,000 years apart, which numerically is quite similar to the 664,000-year time differential between the last eruption and now. However, I'm happy to report that the volcano shows no signs of eruptions, and many scientists contend that Yellowstone may never erupt again. Number 3. Ilopango while Ilopango may be located in El Salvador, it was so destructive that its effects featured prominently in the histories of Byzantine Rome and Imperial China. 
Happening in either 539 or 540 AD, it's considered to be the largest eruption in Central America that human beings have ever witnessed, as it produced over 10,000 square kilometers of waist-deep ash, destroyed several Mayan cities, and completely collapsed into itself, creating a crater lake. Curiously enough, ice cores taken from Greenland seem to indicate that this catastrophic eruption was in line with a massive increase of global sulfur, and it's because of this that many historians believe that the Ilopongo eruption exacerbated the global cooling that another eruption had caused, starting in 536 AD. The result was a sky filled with ash and dust that lowered global temperatures by as much as 2 degrees Celsius, leading to widespread crop failures and famines in civilizations as far away as Byzantine Rome and Constantinople and Imperial China. However, I should note that while there is a lot of support for this hypothesis, there are some experts who no longer believe this to be the case. You see, in a follow-up study, researchers analyzed tree rings and a layer of volcanic ash preserved in a distant glacier. These studies placed a new eruption date of 431 AD, which is a century before the period of global cooling. This analysis suggests that while the eruption devastated the local landscape, it likely had little impact on global climate, making the global cooling hypothesis incorrect. Yet given some competing theories out there, it may take another study or two to figure out what happened with 100% certainty. Number 2. Lucky Volcano While most volcanoes start and finish their blasts within the span of a month or so, the Lucky Volcano in Iceland stands apart for having a super large blast that lasted for a total of 8 months. As it devastated the area between June of 1783 and February of 1784, on a surface level, the amount of lava was pretty minor, managing to only destroy some property near the eruption. However, the steady stream of toxic gases that were emitted was far worse. This is because while they didn't directly kill any people, they wreaked absolute havoc on local wildlife, killing about 50% of the island's cattle, 79% of its sheep, and 76% of its horses creating what was called the Famine of the Mist. This death toll was absolutely devastating, because the Icelandic diet mainly consisted of meat and fish. And by 1785, things got so bad that about 20 to 25 percent of the island's population had died due to malnutrition and disease. If that wasn't bad enough, it turns out that this toxic haze managed to go global. That's because the volcanic gases soon began to affect Europe, causing extremely hot temperatures, poisonous clouds, and heavy fogs on the continent well into 1784. This led to widespread famines and increased poverty levels, and interestingly enough, many historians point to these famines as an indirect cause of the French Revolution. Even across the pond, it's believed that this eruption affected the American Revolution, as the massive dip in temperatures and severe blizzards it caused across the east coast of the United States delayed the journeys of a number of congressmen traveling to Annapolis to vote on the Treaty of Paris, which was the document that formally ended the American Revolution. So I think you'd agree that this volcano was revolutionary in more ways than one. Number 1. Mount Pele while Martinique may seem like a tropical paradise at first glance, the reality is that it's constantly in a state of uncertainty due to the dangers of nearby Mont Pelee. While still active to this very day, the volcano stands apart for not its current activities, but for the complete devastation it caused about a hundred years ago. You see, on April 23rd of 1902, a series of volcanic explosions were witnessed from the mountain. However, on May 2nd, a small eruption commanded the island's attention, and soon, terrified people from the countryside began to flock into the city of St. Pierre, which the media at the time had touted as a safe zone from the volcano. As the cultural center of the island, it was of extreme economic importance, and for a few days it seemed to be the perfect place to go and stay out of harm's way. However, on May 5th, the mudslide from the volcano slammed into a nearby sugar mill, and upon crashing into the water sent a violent tsunami right onto the shores of St. Pierre. If that wasn't bad enough, a plague of gigantic centipedes, two-meter-long pit vipers, and other dangerous creatures began to come down the mountain in an attempt to escape the blast, terrorizing the citizens of St. Pierre. Yet despite the dangers, no evacuation plans were made, and the residents of the city had no choice but to stay put. However, this proved to be a deadly decision, when on May 8th of 1902, Mont Pelee produced a massive volcanic eruption. 
While the specifics aren't entirely clear, what is clear is that in the course of a few short minutes, an infernal blast of hot gas and volcanic debris obliterated St. Pierre, instantly killing almost all of the 30,000 inhabitants. Most of the victims perished from suffocation and burns that scorched their skin and lungs, and when rescue teams looked for survivors within the city limits, only two were found. However, while this blast was absolutely horrendous, the silver lining is that it helped prompt the beginning of studies in modern volcanology. And today, this field has helped humans understand volcanoes in far greater detail and has ultimately saved countless lives. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.